the Reparatin Nature Trail. It says, watch out for snakes. I'm in shorts. I gotta be real careful here. And we'll see how it goes. Going down the trail here. It's late in the day. It's around 20 after 4. So the snakes like to come out at night. They don't like the heat. So that's good for me. And I spoke to a girl up there. The office was closed. And she said, yeah, you go down here, there's some water down here, and whatever. It's a nice trail. Okay. Well, cactus is in bloom. Saw so a few of these here. This cactus doesn't look too good, but still blooming. There's a bunch more in the back there getting ready to, to bloom too. Okay. Back on the trail. Super quiet here. I hear a wolf or a dog barking over there. But nobody else here. Only me up in the mountains there on a trek. Okay. Well, I'm kind of at the end of the trail. It wasn't far, very short walk. And there is water here down there. It is flowing along, going that way and uh, coming up from higher up. And uh, not much here. You hear the water come and trickling down there. There's a picnic table there. And a big tree. And some more stones. And a trail that goes down there. I don't think I better do that. I better head back and see what's happening at one of the other trails. Okay. Yep, here's some more cactus. Here's a big section of cactus. Getting to be in bloom here. And you can see the flowers on it already, on a number of them. Uh, nice little cactus stand. Cactus beaten up in some areas, but still more of it back there too. It's a little section here that has a, has a lot of cactus. Okay, back on the trail. I'm almost back to the station here where it's closed. Well, this says on the sign, it's a straw pile hedgehog. And it's in bloom. It actually looks pretty nice in there. This cactus. It's a nice uh, reddish, kind of purplish, reddish, pinkish flowers on it. Very nice though. Very nice. It's a little section here with a bench. And it's like a little walking park here that they have here. It's right at the entrance. They come out, they have everything marked here. There's a bench here if you want to sit down, which I might do. And we got some gourds up here. Used for a uh, bird's nest, I guess. And I guess when water flows, it will flow down here. But uh, it's pretty nice here, nice little section. Uh, marked out. More of the cactus. Cactus in getting bloom here. Some nice small ones here. And come around here. Some more flowers here. And just different types of cactus that they have here. That one I don't see a plate. Oh yes, there is. It's called Klein's Chola. Mine's Chola. This tree is an evergreen sumac. And a bunch of different names here. This one here is a tree chola. That's what the sign says, a tree chola. Looks like opening up on the end there too. Nice tree chola. Horny mesquite down there in the bottom. And I guess different types of rocks up here. Oh, little little cactuses. That one, something that says this one, there's no cactus left. Cactuses are gone. They're all gone. Broom snakeweed up there. Skunk brush, not too much of that left. Brown spine prickly pear, the old prickly pear. You can eat the fruit off these cactuses. I've had them. 
You can actually buy them in supermarkets in New, New Jersey from time to time. They're actually pretty good. Soap tree yucca and some more cactus back here. And there's my car up there. Okay. Now here's a bunch of cactus in bloom right along the little road here. Yeah, there's quite a few of them in there. Getting closer so you can see some of those nice flowers in there. Very pretty, very nice looking. Coming close. Here we go, come back out. Those are all yellow. Got some ones that aren't quite open here. They're more like an orangey color. And come back up here. And we got some more yellow ones here too. Quite a bit here. I saw this is all cactus in bloom right along the road here. A little U-turn area here. Lots of cactus here. Here's more right here. I hear some birds. I don't see them. At least I think it's birds. Here's one right, right by the edge here. Lots of cactus in here. Here we go. Right up in here. Okay. Okay, I'm here at Oliver Lee State Park. I see some people down there. There's another bench down there. But uh, I guess there's that little creek, more cactus there. And yeah, we'll turn around. Got the hills in back of me right here. Another bench. There's the park office, which is closed. It's locked. Nobody there, so uh, I have to look at the bulletin boards. And somewhere over there, it's saying if you've got to bring your car over there, there's people camping and pay a fee, but it's on the honor system. But I have a, a pass for all national parks. So, and all the other ones I visited today, I got in free with the pass. So I might walk down here a little further, see what this is down there. Okay, bye bye. Well, this is what's left of Frenchie's cabin. And it tells about the stone wall and a rock wall, and they found uh, bottles, tins, and other things uh, that were buried here. But this is Frenchie's cabin here. Imagine being out here by yourself, I guess. And nice backdrop here. Looks like a new section back there, but maybe that, maybe Frenchie built that too when he made adobe bricks back there rather than just use plain stones here. But this is what's left of it. It probably looked pretty good and swank in the day. But uh, there you have the nice view up there. You can see you got a nice view of the valley here. Looking down there, oh, it's more of that cactus with those beautiful flowers down in there. A lot of cactus here, a lot of cactus. So, this was old Frenchie's place here. He was down in there, nothing. And uh, there's more trails. But, I want to get back to the old room, such as it is. And we'll look at some of this stuff. This stuff's pretty hard. Uh, it's not too hard. I mean, you could break it apart if you had to here, but... It would hold up quite well, and I don't know what to use for mortar in between here, but this looks pretty sturdy here. And uh, inside there, all the cactus around here, lots of cactus, lots of cactus. Boy, look at those hills up there. Isn't that nice? Here's the back, looking down there, and I guess I'm going to walk back up to the car here. I think I've seen all there is to see here. Got the sun in back of me now, so we can look at the trail as we're going up here. Uh, cactus not as much on this part up here. There's more in there. They're all getting ready to bloom. One of these days, in the not too distant future, it's all going to be bloomed. Especially if they have a little bit of a sprinkle here, maybe. Maybe that'll help here. I don't know here. This talks more about 
Frenchie's rock walls. I guess these are part of the walls here. Oh, you can see it, the rock wall going all the way down, all the way down there, man. That must have been a job to, to build. Look at all the stuff that he, that he did here. Man, that's a lot of work. I don't know if he just had one, one man. Since you are here, that's where we are up here. So looking down, I don't know if that's in back of me or what. But oh yeah, there's the rest of the wall down down there. All going down that way. And then coming back here, going up this way here. Boy. Yeah, I did a lot of work here. Especially in the heat. Maybe it's better in the winter time. It's a little bit cooler. But summertime, man, oh man. It is hot. It's hot and dry. Today's not too bad. It's probably up in oh mid-80s here, I'm sure. Okay. Back to the parking lot here.